It is now 5.24 p.m. And what we're going on here is a non-existent road closure using the iPhone Pro 12 Max. You see the Starship there. What about it is here? <laughs> some other photographers. Everybody's wondering what's going on. But there are some things that are visible. For those of you just tuning in, to, to type in the chat, you got to be a member. So if you want to type here in the chat and share your message, you should sign up as a member. Anyway, so what's going on here? Thank you to all the members here at Ocean Cam. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this moment here. In the back there, they brought in a bunch of pieces of a red crane. So you'll see behind this truck, once it moves, will become visible pieces of a crane. An amazing piece of equipment. Newly birthed onto the launch site here right there in the back, being lifted as we watch. Exclusive, except for what about it is here too. So we are getting it and the rest of the photographers are wondering where's the action? So there you go, everybody. They're putting together a new crane here. I'm going to open the umbrella just to keep the wind down, everybody, and to keep the sun off the iPhone, most likely, most importantly, but I got my green umbrella out here. Got to figure out which way the direction the sun is coming from. All right. So that's, that's the action, what's going on here. There's a lot of speculation about, you know, what was going to maybe happen tonight, 5 to 11 p.m. So we are past the 5 p.m. point here. And um, I did pick up my truck today. We had a lot of activity today, a lot of activity. So if you are a member here, at least for this chat, I think I mistakenly only limited it to members. I wanted to limit the chat to subscribers, but if you are a member, you can uh, you can chat here also. Hey, road is still open. Yeah, Jordan, it is open. So if you'd like to support the channel, you become a member here and you can say something here in the chat. I think I may have uh, disappointed a lot of spammers today because I know a lot of you were looking forward to coming here and spamming away. So I'm happy I could uh, I could not satisfy you and you have satisfied me by not being able to chat here. So uh, that's a little taste. Uh, you should look up the Mahabharata, Mahabharata, in Indian tradition. Mahabharata is a great battle. You should look it up because uh, that's what's going on here. Mahabharata, Mahabharata, an epic battle thousands and thousands of years ago. It's been going on for ages, everybody. Anyway, so that's what's going on here. I'm happy to be able to to give you a little bit of what you've been giving me. Yeah, so no no word on the arm, Jordan. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it is here. You can see here on the right of the screen in the back there. I brought it uh, I got some photos this morning. You can see it. It's still over there to the right. They uh, brought it down on the on the SPMT and I guess uh, the SPMT must still be back there. I wasn't here when they maybe brought out the SPMT. But um, for those of you who are young and you don't know anything about Hindu tradition, look up Mahabharata and you'll learn a little bit about what's been going on for many ages. And you won't be a sucker any longer. All right, for the rest of you, I appreciate you for being here. You're wonderful people. The good will always win because 
there is no uh, there is no opposition to evil. There's only uh, there's only good. So if you're trying to be evil, there's no opponent because uh, the only thing that exists is good. Hey William, hey Paul, welcome as a member. Thanks, Paul. Evil never wins because there's no opponent. The puzzle continues. Yes, Yodi. It is. It does. Thanks for checking it out, Yodi, and being here. Anyway, so I'm not sure if anything else exciting is going to happen here today. You can see um, there are a lot of trucks here. But, um, you know, there there's a lot of activity here. But as far as doing a major lift, uh, you can see over there by the Starship, there's a lot of trucks over there. So if they were going to do a static fire today, which some people were thinking, are they going to do a static fire today? Well, you got to consider if there's a static fire, they're going to have to move all those vehicles. Because if there is a static fire, they're all going to catch on fire. So they would evacuate the whole pad A and B. So they haven't done that. So there's no static fire tonight. All right? You can see a lot of people and trucks over here. So there's no static fire today. Uh, what I do see is uh, they got that piece in the back there for the new, uh, maybe piece for the quick disconnect right over there. And they're probably going to have to move it closer to the tower. So there's maybe a shift change happening now. So there's going to be more people coming in. Maybe they'll evacuate everything. I don't know. Maybe that's still in the cards to do some type of ev evacuation. But that's going to take uh, a couple hours to evacuate everybody. And they'll broadcast it over the loudspeaker. So it's not going to happen in the next 10 minutes. That's the guaranteed. What we got back there is a bunch of crane pieces that they brought in on a couple trucks. And, uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. You can see, okay, here's a truck leaving. This truck had brought in some of the crane pieces, and it's now empty. So those red crane pieces in the back. Uh, yep, they got offloaded. Yeah, the truck is fixed, Yodi. I may have to do a little extra work on um, on the ignition. Uh, I didn't get that checked out, but the guy told me uh, it had started working on its own. So I may have to get the ignition fixed, but uh, I know a guy who can do it for cheaper than the uh, dealership could do it. So anyway, it's, yeah, it was working, and I drove it back here today. So I appreciate the, uh, the concern. Got a little wind here. Uh, okay, what else can I show you here? Um, I'll zoom out here a, l a little bit. Again, if you're a spammer and you're just tuning in, uh, look up the Mahabharata. Mahabharata, it's Indian tradition for the great battle. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm, a ha I'm actually happy to tell you that you can't chat here today. You'll have to come back another day. Anyway, the, uh, the GFC tank is there, the cover. See, normally they hook it up and then they wait 24 hours. So if you all came here today thinking, um, I'll spend all day here, see if they move the GFC cover. Well, they usually wait at least 24 hours. So I think maybe you wasted your day looking at that GFC cover. It was a windy day too. So the likelihood they were going to do that earlier today was zero. All right. So that's what's going on here. Here's the tower. I guess you'd have to spend a little time here on site to pick up those things, though. So if you're a new photographer coming out here and you want to spend all afternoon wondering if they're going to move the GSC cover in a windy day, that's kind of simple-minded. But you have to spend some time out here to know that. So anyway, so uh, a little lesson learned maybe for some of those people. Anyway, I had a good day in town today. I got a little food, some good drinks, and I, uh, I dealt with a lot of uh, y'all's... Uh, uh, all your stuff. Anyway, hey, walk dog, and uh, nice to see you here too. All right, I will uh, see if I can open the chat in the future to everybody who subscribes. Yeah, the night shift is going to be coming in. Yeah. So I've been here for over six months, everybody. I've been here every day for six months. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you're complaining, or you you're new and you just don't know what's going on. You can go back over my videos over the last six months, and if you want to, and you can learn what's going on here at the launch site. 
Home office. Home office. That's right, Walk Doug. Home office. So I suspect uh, in the next couple days, if not tonight or tomorrow, they did clean up this um, this catch arm thing here. They uh, they moved a lot of stuff out of the way. So maybe they're going to be moving this soon, is my guess. This black structure here in front of us. I think we might see something major happen with this soon. And uh, that's all I can see right now. That's all I can see. Some people have noted that the, the scaffolding over there on the right of the catch arm, you know, when they move the scaffolding there and then maybe it gets more shiny, is uh, when they, the painting of the scaffolding of the uh, catch arm is kind of the final steps before they do a move or something like that. So some scaffolding appeared there on the right recently. Maybe they're going to paint it. Uh, if they do, then that's a guarantee they're going to move it soon. All right, and uh, the rest, uh, the only other thing I can see is uh, there is still a lot of activity here where, where they were doing the landings in the past for SN11 and SN15, right in this area where all the trucks are. So there's something going on here. They did complete the, the little berm over there between pads A and B. So there is now a berm behind this wall made out of dirt, a lower, a, a shorter berm, but it, there is one back there. We can't see it from this view. All right, any, uh, any thoughts from any of you uh, who are members here uh, who would like to chat more about anything? I'll point the camera any which direction. I will also get in front of the camera and say a few words. But, uh, yeah, any, any thoughts about anything? Yeah, Yodi, great news. Yeah, yep, good stuff, good stuff. I'm going to tilt the camera up. For those of you new to photography, tilt means to rotate upward. You can rotate up or down. Tilt up or tilt down. And to the left or right is called panning. Pan left, pan right. Anyway, I appreciate all your comments because uh, I learned a lot from y'all. Yeah, lots more tire. Yeah, so there, that is a good pickup. Yeah, there's a lot more of these uh, tread things on the ground here. Yeah. Good call, good catch there. All right, I'll get in front of the camera here. All right. Paul Michaels with Ocean Cam. It's a great day, great day. Happy to be here. I'm glad I made it back here today. And uh, we'll just see where things go. One step at a time. I appreciate all the thumbs up, everybody. Appreciate it. It'll keep getting better. But today was a good day. Good day today, and uh, I, had a, I had a lot of fun today. You know, I am a genius, everybody. I was going to write it with a J, but I forgot how to do it incorrectly. I thought maybe doing it with a G was the incorrect way, but then I looked it up. I double-checked my spelling. I wrote, I am a genius, right? And, I, you know, there's a guy named Frank Kern, K-E-R-N, Frank Kern. If you look him up on YouTube, he's a great guy. Anyway, he, he has this thing about spelling genius with a J. I forgot how the incorrect way to spell genius was, so I, I put it with a G. I meant to actually put it with a J, but whatever, you know. I guess uh, even when I try and spell it incorrectly, I just spell it correctly. But, yeah, I am a genius, and uh, everybody, who, everybody who acts with their own unique creativity is a genius, so I suggest to you to continue being a genius because we are all geniuses when we act out of our creativity. And there's no competition when we're geniuses. So, all right. In five, I will end the stream in four, three. Have a good day, everybody. I am you. Hey, I am you. Welcome. Two, one. See you later, Jordan. I am you. And all of you, thank you. Whenever you watch this, wherever you watch this, whatever dimension, I appreciate you. And I hope that I'm giving some type of value for you here. All right. Paul Mox with Ocean Cam, September 20th, Monday, 5.38 p.m., 2021. SpaceX launch site, South Texas. Bye.